Hi everyone, I'm Kelsey and Christy and we're here today. We want to show you fun ways you can create your own ornaments using gourds. So the first thing that I want to talk about is our craft ready gourd ornaments. Um, they come in two different sizes and they have their own little beautiful bags too. So they're great as gifts or storage. <laughs> So we have the large size and the small size. And the large, they come in a bag of 10 and the small come in a bag of 18. And they're considered craft ready um, because they have these cute little toppers on them. So you can get them and you can just hang them and leave them natural like this. Or you can decorate them and make them look like Christmas ornaments. This one here has been wood burned and painted um, to look like a little present with a bow and it's wrapped. Go. And if you don't want them to look Christmas themed, um, you can make them here look like this. This one's been wood burned with some feathers from the Gourd Ornament Stick and Burn Pack and painted um, to make it look kind of Southwestern. And you can also uh, use the ornament gourds and create cute little snowmen like this one right here. And those are from, they're called ornament gourds and they're clean, they come in bags of 20. And we do have a video right now that shows you how to make this cute little uh, snowman. Uh, it's on the homepage, the link is in the description of the video. So you can just go there when you're done watching and you can watch it all weekend long. Another way to make your ornaments from gourds is using mini gourds. Now mini gourds are larger, so you can do some more fun things. Like here we have a little trio of snowmen. Or a little hippo. This one, they use clay. There's another larger mini gourd over here. And this one here, you don't have to paint them. Um, you can just wood burn and shade them like this here. All right. And then this one over here, this little flower, I actually used a people gourd. I don't know if you can see, but it's the top of the people gourd. I just cut it with the fill point, created a little hole so the light just shines right through. Like that. So it looks like a little flower. <laughs> so. And there's another way to make people gourds. You can do them like these here that Christy did. Christy, do you want to tell us a little bit about them? Yes. Um, today I'm going to show you uh, different ways to hang them. On this one, I did a little Santa and I used transparent acrylics. This one over here, I wood burned and did the leather tooling. And this one, I did the poinsettias and again, I used transparent acrylics. All right, and so um, another thing we're gonna show you is how to hang your gourds, especially the people gourds. Um, so Christy, do you wanna tell us a little bit about that? Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with this one and I'm gonna hang it like this one over here. So you first want to draw where you want your, your holes to be. And she's just going to, this is ribbon, so you can hang them with ribbon. Okay, and I'm going to use um, safety glasses because I will be using the Gordmaster Pro Carver. And normally you'd want to wear a respirator as well, so if you're doing it at home, but we have the microphone on. We want you to hear Christy, so she's just going to use the glasses. Okay, so um, you okay? So I'm going to start by turning it on, and I'm going to put it on high. And the fillet point works great because it's just like a drill bit. It just it works really nice. It just drills it in. So I'm just going to go in and try to connect my hole. So slowly, I'm just piercing it. And then I want to go on the other side. And pierce it and try to connect those, those two holes. So she's going all the way through the gourd. Okay, and let me see if my ribbon fits in there. Okay. 
Okay, it does need to be larger. So what I want to do now, I want to go in and wiggle my burr to make that hole slightly larger so that ribbon fits right in. So I'm just wiggling it. And so if she had a smaller piece of ribbon that was thinner, then the hole wouldn't need to be that large. So basically you just make the hole as wide as your ribbon is thick. Okay, let's see if that works. not going through. Just a sec here. Okay, let me try from this side. It's doing its own thing. Okay, let me just make it larger on this side over here. There we go. He didn't want to come out the other side. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's see, this works. Let me just cut the tip of it. It's, it's, it's because it's at an angle. Oh, oh, I see. It's the pulp of the gourd that's oh. blocking it. Let me do it again. So you just have to keep drilling it in. So sometimes the inside membrane, um, it's dried up, and you have to make sure you poke through that so that you can get through to the other side. <laughs> it worked. So now you just want to tie a little bow. Just tighter. excess off and there you go so that's one option okay. now for this one you can also use an eyelet screw and there's two different sizes now uh, you normally want to use this one that you can find in a hardware store if you're using ribbon because it, it can easily fit in and this one you can find in a craft store and it's smaller one, it, it should be in the jewelry section aisle. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how to put this one in. So again, I'm gonna use my fillet point, but this time um, I'm just, I'm gonna use it at a very low speed because I just wanna make a pilot hole on my, on my gourd. So I'm just gonna do it on the back. And you can do it on the back so that it can be hidden. So you won't see the yes. screw. So I'm just going to drill right in. Let me go a little bit higher. And I'm just wiggling it a little bit so that pilot hole fits nicely. So you're not piercing all the way through, just creating an initial yeah. pilot hole. Pilot hole. Okay, so that needs to be bigger. 
So you want to make sure you start off your hole small and then work your way out because if you do it too large, then the it's screw. not going to fit. Yeah, the screw is not going to fit. There we go. And that's with a lot of things. <laughs> start off small. There we go. And now I just want to screw it on. Okay, since that's done, I'm just going to use my little ornament hook. And there you go. That's another way you can hang it. So you can see that that, that eyelid screw is hidden. And that's another option. All right. Well, thank you, Christy. And thank you for joining us. We hope you liked what you have been watching. Um, these are just some fun ways that you can make your own ornaments from gourds. Um, like I said, you can get all the gourds seen here on our website. It's um, at www.wellburngourdfarm.com. The link is in the description of the video. And be sure to like us on Facebook so you get to see more fun videos like this. And um, make sure you share it on your wall so you can save it for later so that you can make your own ornaments at home. And be sure to like this video if you liked it. <laughs> and if you have any suggestions or comments, feel free to post them. And thank you for joining us. Have a gorgeous day. <laughs>